Yeah, so just a little bit checking out the city where we are, where I am. It's a lovely place, at least now. When the sun is shining, everything looks so much better, so much nicer. That's a huge uh, cruise ship over there. And it smells fishy. Actually, this place is bigger than I thought. Right, so I'm not an uh, expert of Portuguese language, but this obviously is a monument of the big war between 1914 and 1918. And this is the monument of the Portuguese marines and sailors. We shouldn't forget that Portugal was once a really big colonial power. I think nowadays Portugal is only having like two overseas colonies. Azores, where we are now, is one of them. And Madeira is the second one. And Portugal used to have so much around the world. But yeah, that's how the world goes forward. We are heading to the smallest island on the Azores, where you can go. We are going to the island of Corvo. If someone wants to have like, you know, a boat project, maybe not for this summer, but for the next summer, you can contact me. Very cheap offer for you, my friend. This is what I call plane spotting on the Azores. <laughs> I don't know what I'm witnessing right now, but a girl seems to uh, be really deep in some shit. Maybe you can you can watch. I'm not watching. You can watch. There's something happening. Something not good. Checking my hotel uh, reservation. I mean, what the fuck? Ah, she's doing her makeup. I thought she's totally in some trank, uh, whatever drugs. Oh my god. Let's let's walk by. I said, girl, uh, that was a woman, maybe 40 years old, looked like 50. <sighs> sad, so sad. Somehow the bad neighborhood of the city. Now here's someone having a fight with himself or someone else. Can you hear that? That's a church, brother! That's 
Yeah, as I was thinking, he's having a fight with himself. Well, you know, sometimes you need to have a few words with yourself and then continue the journey. I can see they are selling these Chinese Volvo cars also here. Those Chinese, they are everywhere. We are not on the destination yet. We uh, we have to get out from the plane for 20 minutes, and then uh, we will go back into the plane. So I don't know if there's something wrong with that or whatever it is. But it's a 20 minute uh, technical timeout. A few moments later. So I'm having like a small déjà vu, <laughs> going to the same plane again. <laughs> So uh, we're continuing our journey. This was just a small stop at uh, Horta Airport, the island of Horta, and now we are going further to the island of Corvo. Uh, I took a wrong turn at the airport. I uh, went to uh, baggage claim and I had to check in again, you know, to uh, go through the security check. No problem. Small airport. On like uh, five minutes uh, delay for me and basically when I was uh, going through the sec security check the guy was showing me like uh, with the zipper like this and I was like what, what, what am I having and my 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 zipper was open so yeah interesting but let's continue now. The airport. This is really small. <laughs> really cool. <laughs> it's like a railway station. Uh, almost raining, but not raining. <laughs> Here's the baggage claim. It's <laughs> <laughs> something else.
That's the coolest way of bringing the luggage, just with the, with the forklift here and then from the other room a small door outside for the baggage claim and you can take it immediately. Welcome to the island of Corbo. And here we are. And there's like a camping spot right uh, next to the airport and the center. So let's go to check the center first. We don't have to go hiking uh, yet. It seems to be all in clouds and we have tomorrow the whole day time. So let's go to check the center of Corvo. I maybe can't address this enough, but this is my first time in America. Yes. America because even though this is officially part of Portugal and Portugal is an European country I'm standing on the American continental plate so yes I am in America right now you can see everything is here also like uh, lava stones you can see the volcano has been eruptioning many hundreds of years ago. Oh yeah. Here we are and here we are and here we go. The beach of island of Corvo. Uh, yeah, I have never experienced such a welcome. Uh, there was like a police, a woman, was taking pictures of uh, every, everyone who was coming in. I was thinking like what? But no, she was waiting for her friend to come over. And uh, yeah, <laughs> then they were hugging and all that. So, and this seems to be the center of the Corvo. I'm so glad I came here. Here is a Miraduro. Miraduros are always places where you can have a good view. And there is the island of Flores. Over there. And it was quite a journey here. I mean like... We flew like 1 hour 50 minutes. That's more stop there at the uh, Horta and now here yeah the highest peaks of this island this small island they are here and this is the village a lovely little village cobblestones You can see that there is some small tourism going on. You know, some gift shops and stuff like that. But like nothing major. Uh, would you have a gas bottle? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to the air. Uh, left, left. Left. Water, air, water. Uh, it's water. No, gas. Ah, okay, no. For no, no, heating. no. Oh, okay. No, sorry. No problem, no problem. Yeah. Right, thank you. Thank you, bye. bye. No gas. I hope there is some way of, uh, you know, cooking at the camping area. Like some wood to burn, but... I don't know. Look at the cats. Local cats. 
not a I'm not a cat person, but I know some of you guys are. So uh, there is your cats of Corvo. Couldn't get gas, or butane, whatever. Um, got the bread. Got something to drink. I also took some water from the airport. I think it's okay to drink. Uh, let's go to check out the camping ground now. Some old windmills here. You know, in uh, on the island of uh, San Miguel, they were selling those uh, whale watching tours. 65 euros would have been half a day whale watching. Then I was looking all the all the mass of tourists who were coming from the cruise ship. And while I was there, I was thinking I don't need to go to any whale watching. I can just stay here and watch. So happy we came here. I'm so happy we came here. This is so effing cool. I'm walking to the campground, but there's a beach right next to it. It's quite uh, convenient. Airport, campground, beach, all in this small area. This is beautiful. Let's go to check out the campground now. Must be the nicest campground I have ever seen. You know why? Because it's totally empty. <laughs> I can choose where to go, where to be. It's pretty awesome. And yeah, now the question is, how can you cook here? How can you make a fire? I mean, sure, I might burn some sticks, and but there is like no stash somewhere. I don't think I don't think that will be a problem. There is some small you know whatever. Okay, here is something. Ah, perfect. Perfect. All okay. All okay. Yeah, there you go. It's not even that loud. That good in those uh, prop machines. Excellent. This is a perfect uh, spot for uh, to put the tent on. The weatherman is saying that tomorrow the weather is even better than today. So uh, we're definitely hunking down here now uh, for today, taking it easy, make a camp, make a meal or two, and uh, you know get ready for the hike tomorrow. Okay. Now it's the final test of the solar charger i'm trying to load my uh, gopro battery hooked into this as you can see it's really shining so if it's not working now then i lose my fate in this 
product but this one more chance I'm giving it's bright enough Today's lunch is pasta carbonara with ham. Hey, travel lunch. Show me a pasta carbonara without ham. This is like, is it having twice ham? You know, because pasta carbonara is having ham already. But this is written pasta carbonara with ham. Interesting. Using this box. Not burning it. Okay, here we go. All right, now being here on the American plate, I must use this <laughs> again. And this time I'm not even bothering to try before. Let's just drop it in. That's about 10-11. Should be okay. Alright. Give it a stir. Pasta carbonara with ham. And you guys at travel lunch, do you really have pasta carbonara without ham? Maybe it's a vegetarian version. But then it's not carbonara. Okay. So yeah, and I'm totally in the shadow. Because yesterday was like the first day of the whole holiday when it was a little bit shining. The sun, I mean. And uh, of course, I burned myself in five minutes. You know, my uh, Scandinavian Viking skin is not made for these ultraviolet uh, levels. Especially being the whole winter, more, more or less, uh, you know, inside or being out camping during the night. So I'm not having any kind of base. That's why all red now, but it'll pass, it'll pass. Hmm. It's really good. I think this pasta carbonara is having some ham in it. Yeah. And Tabasco is icing on the cake. So I'm having a question for you guys. In the security check at an airport, does Tabasco count as liquids or explosives? Both are forbidden. One is totally forbidden and one is only forbidden in cabin. Hm. Well, my Tabasco was traveling behind, not underneath, behind. That small prop plane was having all the, all the uh, luggage behind. Interesting. That's green. That's green. So, from nearly empty GoPro battery to full in about three hours. But yeah, in the sunshine. But it works. It's very cool. I'm really looking forward to sleep here. 
tonight. Plan is to start really early in the morning and then uh, go up there, go to the crater, go to, uh, you know, see the cool, beautiful places. But now we are going to check the beach. Hey, look what I found. A bulldozer. I don't know about you, but I sure as hell don't fuck with the guy who drives a vehicle like this. Especially this one. <laughs> a small project for someone who is handy. You know, can do some screwing. That's pretty cool. Look at this. Perola do Corvo. Hashtag abandoned. Hashtag I have seen better days. New Bedford MA. Hey, I think this came a long way from MA. Massachusetts? Could be. But here it is. Eh, Neon Beach. Over there. And now comes some data. 84% of all the chicks died during nesting here on the Azores are killed by a domestic cat. There you go, cat people. Look at this! Hey, you see? Cats are not welcome here. But yeah, maybe it's good to put here like a sign that if cat comes here, the cat can see. Oh, I'm not supposed to be here. And the cat goes back to the village. Looks pretty uh, painful. Good deed of today is done. You know, if I'm here, I can as, as well do something for my free camping spot. There would be so much uh, trash to collect. But yeah, something little is better than nothing. 